will permanently ban cheaters without warning or suspension. What do you guys think? Uh, first and foremost, is this good or bad? I think everyone agrees that this is good. But I think the more important question here is, do we trust DICE and EA this time around? Like, we've, we've heard all their talk about how they take things like this seriously. We've heard it before, and we've been disappointed before. So, what about now? Do we trust them now? Do we trust them this time? DICE looks to be taking the health of Battlefield 20, uh, yeah, Battlefield 2042 community very seriously. Today the developer outlined a number of initiatives designed to keep the gamers community welcoming as well as several key ways to counter cheaters and abusers. Alright, I've already seen the, the trailer, so that's okay. Uh, for starters, Battlefield 2042 will be relying on the popular easy anti-cheat EAC service to detect and ban cheaters. Alright, um, since this was not very... I don't know, I don't think it was even implemented in Battlefield, Battlefield 1, so... Any one of you who's been playing Apex Legends lately has this actually worked? Well, Apex is free to play. So people just make new accounts. I know, Lin. I know, Lin. Um, that's one of the reasons why we want to go to uh, Vietnam in the future. And uh, uh, I'm getting closer and closer to taking that shot. I'm, my excuse for not having taken the shot yet, aside from me being a bit suspicious, is that I don't have much of a social life at the moment. I'm just playing, saving, investing. It's all I do. I, I barely meet any people in real life. So uh, that's my excuse. I don't know if it's an illegit excuse, but that's my excuse. Anyway, DICE confirmed that it has a zero tolerance policy when it comes to cheating, meaning cheats will be permanently banned immediately without warning or suspension. Well, um, I believe it when I see it. I believe it when I see it. Because Battlefield 2042 supports cross-play. Oh yeah, that's right. Getting banned from one platform means you won't be able to play. Oh yeah, cross-play. So, you know what's going to happen now? You know all these discussions we've had about balance and all that stuff? There's going to be a ton of discussions about all these fucking um, aim assist. You know, aim assist. Yeah, so people, instead of getting the proper gear or, you know, instead of investing, you know, getting a mouse and keyboard, they want to have a crutch. You know, all this, all this talk about aim assist and all that shit, I, it, it irritates me. It's like, I, it's like I would say, I can't afford to buy a, a graphics card that, that pushes more than 60 frames per second. So I deserve to have um, an aim assist or a similar tool designed for people like me that play with only 60 frames per second. And then I can whine and bitch and cry and flame about it so that this tool becomes stronger based on the bullshit I'm able to produce on Reddit or any other social media platform. I don't have a gaming chair. Hey, I should have a damage boost... Uh, I, yeah, I should have a damage boost. I don't have a gaming chair. Look, I don't have a gaming chair. Yeah, it's my excuse. Give me a give me a tool. Make make my life easier as a gamer. I don't have a gaming chair. That's what I see coming. That's like, but people are good at at uh, you know formulating why they need a uh, a crutch. Bands could arrive suddenly and will cause the cheater to be disconnected from the game. Band players can later peel their sanctions using EA help support. The developers the developer also has the tools of IP and hardware ban where necessary. Really? Which should deter repeated offen offenders. Really? I, I, I'm gonna have to ask the same question over and over again. Do we believe them? Do we do we believe them? 
The even better news is that Battlefield 2042 will tell you when the enforcement team receives your report. Oh, well, that's about time, okay. And when action has been taken against the cheater, DICE said, anti-cheat is something that it will continue to work on post-launch, adding that there's a team dedicated to investigating reports and issuing bans. Well, I gotta say, they're telling us everything we want to hear. They're telling us everything we want to hear. Speaking of which, Battery 2042 will be launching in a fairly well-featured reporting system, allowing all pl players to report a wide range of dis disruptive and undesirable behavior straight from the game. You can report players for cheating, exploiting, offensive voice text chat, inappropriate name, harassment, and even gameplay sabotage. Okay. Okay. It's, it's almost a, a... It is almost as if they are listening to us. It's almost like they are paying attention to the community. Battlefield 2042 will also let you turn off voice or text chat. Okay, well, that, that's nothing new. Whether individually or for the entire team, you can even block players, which will prevent them from being able to message or voice chat with you. All right, that, that's good. Before it was like you could, you could um, if somebody was in your squad, they can voice over IP you and you can mute that person, but that's only when they're in the squad. But here you can do it on, on certain players. That's that's good, okay. For creators on Battlefield Portal, admin tools will allow them to ban any player from all current and future experiences they create. All right. Battlefield 2042 is out November 19th. On PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, and Xbox, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Do, do we believe this? Do we believe this is actually going to be implemented? Is this actually trustworthy information? Or is it just a selling point that everyone is expected to have forgotten by January in uh, 2022. You know, I am so curious about the um, the creativity that we will have from, like, you know, uh, lone wolves. You know those clones that that provide us with servers. Uh, lone wolves, what are they called? I, uh, fuck, I don't, sorry, I don't remember. Lone wolf, AMG, Bob. Um, and you have all those servers that I play on, Salty Noobs and TSE on, on, on US. Um, there, there are all, all these servers, SU and all those guys. It'll be very, very interesting to see how you guys, if there's any, anybody here. Rocket, hey, how you doing, man? I ask myself, how they're gonna manage the amount of cheating reports from noob players just outskilled by players? They, <laughs> yeah, that, <laughs> yeah, that's too, that's too. But hey, Rocket, um, just like spontaneously now, just spontaneously, you don't have to like, you don't have to answer thoroughly if you want, but if you don't want. Do, do you have any idea about, like, in your community, is there a lot of people that are, like, really super excited with starting to to uh, create game modes? People that are, like, who wants to, I don't know, what you design their own game modes and maps and all that stuff? Because I've seen a lot of creativity in the past. I just don't have a general idea about how much people are actually willing to... Um, take of their time away from gameplay, you know, away from, you know, family, social life, you know, being tired, coming home from work and all that stuff.
I mean, it's not impossible. Not possible a team can manage all those reports. Imagine it from rice. Yeah, you, you, I, I see you have similar cons concerns as I have. I see. Thank you, Damptas. Yeah, there, there is, there is a um, Damptas. There is a uh, game in. Uh, there's a survival game that I'm keeping my eyes on. Um, that is upcoming, probably next year or something. I'm not entirely sure. But uh, I've got my eyes on a survival game, but it's it's a uh, it's not like it's not like H one Z one though. It's it's different. So, but there is there is something coming. Anyway, I'm gonna get the the gameplay going. So uh, this is interesting. This is interesting. But again, they're telling us what we want to hear. The question is, and I've said it several times, so I'll say it again. The question is, do we trust them and is this actually going to happen? 